Welcome back to another episode of the Bites of Bristol Borough. We're fortunate enough to be here with owner Larry Warren of the Pines Tavern. Uh, Larry, thanks again for having us today. Um, Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about the Pines Tavern. You know, when did it start? And uh, what gave you the idea to uh, open the Pines? Well, my parents, uh, Larry Sr. and Loretta Warren, bought the Pines Tavern in 1970. So I kind of grew up here. Um, it, it wasn't what I always thought I would end up doing, but uh, at a certain point, I found a passion for, uh, for food and beverage, and um, it's kind of all been, uh, you know, downhill from there. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, food, the food's amazing here. You have a very unique menu, um, tons of different items, um, you know, and during the 70s, so it looked like, so, so your parents owned it in the 70s. Did it ever go out of the family or did it stay throughout the family? No, it's been in our family for over 50 years. Wow, that, that's amazing. You know, not only to find a business that's been in business that long in the food and beverage industry, which is ex extremely rare, but family business over 50 years is really, really amazing. What probably would you say is the most significant change since when you remember it as a little kid growing up to, to now? Sure. Well, when my parents bought the Pines, um, it was primarily a, uh, you know, shot in a beer, steel mill okay. bar. There was a lot of uh, blue collar industry in the area at the time. And, um, and we were really geared to serve that clientele. Uh, around... 2004, 2005, that, that's about the time that, um, that I started to kind of get an itch to expand the menu a little bit. Okay. Um, we really didn't go full bore until around 2006. And, uh, and there wasn't, you know, there there's, wasn't a whole lot of, uh, you know, science involved in it. It was just a matter of, you know, I make what I like. I, I, our menu is just a reflection of, of my tastes and, and my excitement about different types of food and different combinations and how different flavors and textures and things work together. So um, it's kind of like a playground for me. Great. You know, and not only did you adapt and do a great job during COVID, you know, you had a big takeout um, uh, menu available through the window. You did everything, um, you know, clean and safe. So. Um, you know, congratulations and, and for, for making it through COVID. A lot of people didn't. So yeah. it's, uh, you know, it shows how you run your business, you know, the um, information value that you have in the industry to, to be able to do that and hopefully continue to go for, for another 50 years. All right. So it looks like we have two amazing dishes out here. One's your pork roll fries and the other's the meatballs. So do you want to explain a little bit about, you know, the, the uniqueness of each of them and what made you, you know, choose these options? Absolutely. Um, so the pork roll fries, um, it, it's kind of a funny story. Uh, a place that I and my wife frequent, uh, we were there for brunch. And as we were paying the check and getting up to go out the door, the waitress said, hey, make sure you come back tomorrow. The chef is making pork roll fries. So I never actually had those pork roll fries because by the time I got into my car and started driving, I knew what pork roll fries were in my mind. Okay. Came back here, hashed out the recipe, test kitchened it, figured out the right ratios and portions, and those are the pork roll fries you see. I don't know how the other guy did with his, but we sell a ton of them. I mean, they're, they're fantastic. It's something definitely unique. Pork rolls big to the area. Do you use a certain type of pork roll? Or is it secret, something that you can share? Or uh, We use Case Pork Roll. Okay. So, uh, you know, it's another Trenton Pork Roll company. Um, you know, there's, there's different flavor profiles with different pork rolls, and I'm not going to bore you with the details, but uh, for us, we found that Case is, is exactly what we were looking for from a flavor standpoint. Well, from a flavor standpoint, it hits the nail on the head. Next over here, we have uh, the meatballs. So, tell old family recipe or? Okay, so the, so the meatballs um, are, the meatballs themselves are, uh, are inspired by my two grandmothers and my mom's recipes for meatballs. It, it's kind okay. of, it, I kind of tried to take the things that I liked best about their recipes and incorporate that into mine. And my dad's mom, um, my mom, uh, when we were kids, she was a big fan of what she called peasant food. Okay. So, so, you know, a, a lot of lentil soup, things like that. But for breakfast sometimes in the morning, if she didn't have eggs in the house, 
she would make a bowl of polenta. Mm -hmm. And if the Sunday gravy was still in the fridge, she'd warm up a little and put a scoop of tomato sauce or gravy as we call it uh, on your polenta. And if you were lucky and there was a meatball left over, you might even get a meatball. So, and this was breakfast in, in a Sicilian Italian household. So nice. And is that what the meatballs are and, on, and, and on that's, top of right now? And that's what this particular dish is, is framed around it. It's a, uh, it's a cheesy, creamy polenta um, with, you know, with our homemade tomato sauce and the meatballs. Then we add um, diced cherry peppers to kind of give it a little spicy edge. And it, the peppers play nice against the sweet creaminess of the polenta and the meatballs. Um, just a, you know, classic spicy Italian meatball. It, it, it's amazing. And it's great to hear the uh, family story of, uh, you know, how you grew up with them and, and what gave you the base underneath the meatballs. So such amazing food. We really appreciate you taking the time here today to Thanks go over much. the history of, of the pines. You know, 50 years, what, how, how amazing is that? Food's amazing. So uh, stay tuned for, you know, more episodes of the Bites of Bristol Barrow. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube. And Larry, thanks again. And we Thank look, you, Steve. look forward to uh, continue to dine here. See you next episode.